What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am back again with another review. Um not saying another review is oh actually it's another review. But it's issue two. You probably in the title, you probably know what it is. It's issue two of Kevin Smith's Masquerade. Um initially I was on the fence of like should I review this copy, should I not review the copy? But frankly, I'm enjoying the book. Um, and if I'm being honest, the first review of issue one, for me, for my channel, my number has done extremely well. Compared to most channels, dog shit, but for my channel, done extremely well. I think like 91 views. So it gave me a bit of an exit, for a reason basically to sort of. Uh, do we do we review issue two? Now, this me reviewing this book is, is to be is to, from what I can find out with to be four issues of this book. But when it comes to reviewing Kevin Smith books, I'll say in the next. Let's say by the end of the year, there's going to be not including this one four more reviews because we have two issues of this and two issues of. What we've seen two issues of the quick stop comic book um but today we are here to review masquerade issue two now straight away it sort of it sort of starts off the topic that was sort of for a lot of people can be very much a mm, don't touch that topic ah, sort of topic and that is basically one of these sort of characters in the book basically trying to sort of um re re reveal that people are basically pedophiles basically obviously she the character basically got abused as a child um I should fucking remember that basically if you read the book you know the character's name um actually what I might do I might go through the book um what is her name? Fuck me. Um, I know she's got a fake name. But the fake name, oh, mate. I just fucking read the book. I feel like Tina or something like that. Um, she sort of was basically, like I said, because she got basically abused as a child, she basically wants to, uh, uh, basically reveal to the world that there are paedophiles out there, this child's a paedophile, this child's a paedophile. Um, one of these sort of situations, she tried to practice do a show on this, um, but this was the first bit, first time she tried doing it, it sort of, in a sense, Went to start off very badly, but it sort of the dog got in your way, so it sort of in a way went okay. Um, but again, straight away, that's, that's a topic that most people don't like talking about. Um, because like, the, like the, obviously, there are people in real life that have been abused, um, for, right, in that sort in that situation, been abused, so it's I don't know why. People may or may not want to talk about that, but I thought that was a straight away. I thought that was a hard hitting topic to sort of start off with. Then it moves into if you read the first issue, um, you may have known that I think I, think I did mention in the last review that a woman jumped off a roof and landed onto a car and basically died. So basically, bad she died. If you looked at her, she, you think. She's, she's young, she's in her 20s. But in the, in the issue, you, you find out that she was using stuff that was basically. She was in like cosmetics. That, like, she was actually in, like, like, in her 70s or 80s. But, she, but because of the um, cosmetics she was using, she looks like fucking 50, 60 years younger. Um, then the sort of. The, the tenant that I was dealing with it found out where he where she jumps from the sort of connection between that and the cosmetics 
he went to question the sort of, I think that like CEO was like about it, but it was like pretty much saying sort of, oh, I'm going to have lunch with the, uh, um, the chief. Fuck you sort of thing. Um, so it was, it was like, hey, so it's, it's, I'm now, I'm now sort of, I'm now curious. Again, like the first issue, there's little bits here and there that is sort of making me want to read the next issue to sort of answer the questions I've got. My question is now, firstly, why did she jump? Uh, basically, a bit, basically, a bit of history of why she jumped and sort of why she was taken to the in the first place. I know, in, like in real life, people want to, women especially want to look younger. Um, but it's, was it was there a connection between her taking the cosmetics and sort of um, that leaving that, that fucking up for her sort of thing? So I'm quite curious about that. Then it's it, it's trying, then the last bit of the book is basically it's like, it's like this issue probably more than the first one. It was like it was broke down an axe. Like this bit is explaining that part of the story. This middle bit is explaining that part of the story. This final bit is basically kept, like it's this part of the story, which, if I'm being honest, I actually don't like. Um, I know most books is one story that mix in sort of and it's sort of multiple stories in one. This is sort of it's sort of not necessarily it's for stupid people, but it's sort of people that want to have this bit at a time on a story. It's, it's easy for them to sort of follow. Which I quite liked. So the final bit is basically the lead character. I forgot her fucking name. I know last last review was trying to work out the name. I quite like that the front cover is sort of connected to the side of the light. It's sort of connected to the death, the sort of the cat, not death, but the capture in the book. <laughs> so by the looks of it, is each from what I've found out there's been four issues of this. Um, so hopefully there's a sort of a concrete, not all concrete, but a sort of, firstly, why is she, because like last issue she's attached to one person, this issue she's attached to another person, is each issue she's attached to a different person for a specific reason, um, they all, are they all connected somehow, um, it, like, why is this person, why is she going after these people, uh, why, is, she, like, is it for her personal vengeance? Is it for is she? Getting, is she like a hitman type thing where she's getting paid by someone else? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'll give it credit. It's it's first. It's it's it's, it's doing what I personally I personally think a good comic should, book should be doing. That is. Basically, basically wanting, like, I'm now itching for that next issue. So it's, do, it's doing its job in that aspect. Um, the art style, um, I'll do that one, because that's sort of where they find out about her, her face. Very 90s grit, which is basically how Kevin Smith sold it. Um, but at the same time, it's, this I think this one more than more the art style. This one probably more so. That one is a little, is a little bit more more um, in it when it comes to story. It's you can sort of very much see the Kevin Smith influence in the sense that it's very dialogue heavy. Not he like it's not like, not like it's heavy for a comic book, like, especially a modern book. Anyway, it's very. Dialogue heavy, which if you, if you watch a Kevin Smith film, Kevin Smith or not even his film, his fucking podcast, stand up, his um, Q and A's, very um, dialogue heavy. So it's it's for me, it's it's, it's got it's how he sold it. I'm seeing well, the ninety degree, the sort of violence, he's all, the art style, loving <laughs> the story so far. I'm enjoying. And it's making me want more, as like I said, is how a comic book should be. Um, and it's, especially in this one, it's very Timmy Swift dialogue heavy, which again is a plus for me. Um, when, I, was he, when, I, was he, when I found out this book was coming out this week, 
Wild Eyes are basically you do, do a lot of new this week new new this week video on a Tuesday. Basically, like what come out come out this week. Here is sort of made a joke that oh, a Tim Smith book's out on time. Um, and from what I've been told, or he. All the Kevin Smith books, where he's working on a Batman, Daredevil, a Green Arrow, everything like that, he's prone to being late. Um, I don't think, I don't want, I don't want, none of the, his personal books, in this sense, I don't want to be late. Um, and I don't think in this case it will be, and the reason I'm saying that is because, with like the Daredevils and the Batman, like that, he's writing an established character for someone else. Where even though the year this come this is coming out via Dark Horse, it's his own publishing press, which again I'm gonna a mention of it, the Secret Stash Press. So it's his own stories, it's people working for that press in a sense for these stories. So really I think yeah, he may sort of have an overlook he may look at things like approve things, this and the other. I mean, know that I know the trick stop is sort of his character, so he might have a bit more involvement. I don't know how much involvement he's having in this, but there should be no reason why it, I don't see no reason why it for any of his books via his secret stash press to be late. But we never know in this day and age. Um, but again, the, yeah, so this is basically my review of Masquerade issue two. I am highly recommending this book. I'm a bit biased because I'm a massive Kevin Smith fan anyway, and for me, there's no bad Kevin Smith thing. Um, but even if I were a Kevin Smith fan, I will be recommend recommending this book to anyone, um, if, especially like firstly Kevin Smith stuff, but also. Um, anything that Dark Horse put out like like when it comes to great stuff Dark Horse is pretty good with that um, so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you've read issue 1 and slash or read issue 2 um, but let me know what you think um, so yeah it's basically about about um, a community sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and, uh, yeah, ciao for now, and speak to you soon.